So we have a large steak from the base, and we've got room for one more steak out of this, out of this cutting. First thing you want to do is make sure you, the side shoots are cut off. And when you take this, the leaves off, that prevents the leaves from pulling moisture out of the cutting. You want to make sure your cutting stay moist. So at this point, I have some fairly large side shoots that we can also use. So keep those. I'm going to make the cut at the top, the cross cut, and the cut at the base. Now you cut it right above a node so you have a big section with no nodes. It's okay if you leave a little bit at the base because it, could, it can root there. Uh, these species that root easily will often put out roots that are not at, right at the nodes. So this is the base where you want to have a slanted cut and there's the second stake. With these side shoots, if they're large enough, usually we can take these, they're called whips, we can take these and put them together in a pot and actually root them. Um, here's some nine bark that was that was rooted um, about a year ago and these are the smaller stems um, that we use for that. So make sure you remove all the leaves again and kind of use the stems that are not real flexible, they're just just barely flexible but they're thick enough to actually form some roots. The smaller the stem, the more likely it is that they won't quite have enough um, energy to root. Now if you're going to plant your stakes right away, but you say the same day, you want to take care to make sure that they don't dry out. So after you take a bundle of stakes, you can put them in a bucket of water or even a pot of soil if it's going to be a day or two, um, but keep them in the shade and make sure they stay moist and cool until you put them in the ground. If you're going to wait and not plant them for say a couple of months or if you want to root them and then plant them, uh, you can bundle them up like these Indian plums and put them in a big pot of soil. And the main thing again is just to keep them moist. And you can put the pots in sawdust over the winter and they will root in the pots. And then of the following year you can plant them. And over the summer is when they will need a little bit of extra watering. You want to make sure again that they don't dry out and mulching them with sawdust and wood chips will help with that and keep the pots cool. This is what they look like after about a year of being in the pot. And you want to separate these out ready for planting or for repotting fairly carefully. This is a good root ball so what you can do is just cut through it into sections and then very gently tease the roots apart. You want to probably loosen up the roots and a little bit of wounding will actually help them root more, but you want to be fairly careful with those, with those new roots. And it will take a little bit of time for them to recover even after a careful repotting.